In my last video, we were looking at quantitative data and how to make a histogram and a frequency distribution. In this video, I'm going to add a little bit to it, and we're going to talk about cumulative distributions and how to make a graph of that cumulative distribution, which we call an OGIVE, O-G-I-V-E. So let's go back to our results that we were looking at last time. So we have a categorical variable here, quality rating of a restaurant and a quantitative variable meal price and with meal price we divided the data into different classes bins or categories here and made a frequency distribution adding up how many of those meal prices occur in each of these bins and then we made the histogram here which is like a bar graph without gaps that we use for quantitative data now, another thing that you can do with quantitative data with these frequency distributions is that you, you don't normally do and, and can't do with nominal categorical data is to make a cumulative distribution. Now, first, let me, let me go ahead and, and make a percent frequency column here because I want to highlight that we can, we can do these cumulative distributions with either frequency percent frequency or relative frequency. So let me just calculate really quickly here what percentage we're talking about here. And I hit F4 to make this an absolute reference for the 300. Oh, I need to multiply that by 100 to get the percent. Okay. And we probably want to add these up, auto sum, just to make sure we didn't do something wrong and to make sure they do add up to 100%. Uh, this might be a few too many decimal places for most people. So let's up here into the formatting. If we click the left arrow, we get more decimal places. If we click the, the arrow pointing to the right, we get fewer decimal places. So two decimal places is probably good. Let's center that. So let's make a cumulative uh, distribution. Let's talk about what it means. Cumulative, the word cumulative means we're adding up as we go along. So let's make a cumulative frequency. Well, I'll abbreviate that since that's, that's kind of a long title. Um, cumulative frequency means we're asking the question how many of these restaurant meals are in this category or an earlier category or a lower valued category? You always start the cumulative frequency with the first number because 38 meals are in 10 to 14 or earlier because there are no earlier categories. So we just start with the number 38. Now what we want to do is take this 38 and add it to it how many are in the next category. Because what this is going to answer, 38 plus 40, is going to be 78. 78 meals are in this category, 15 to 19, or earlier. In other words, a little bit better way to explain this is that 78 of the meals cost $19 or less. Right? So we're thinking or less when we make a cumulative distribution. So a formula to do this in Excel, you could say, well, it's equal to the number before it plus, whoops, computer doing random things here, equals 38 plus the next number in the list, which is an F13. Enter, and that'll give us 78. And since the formula is always going to be that formula, take the number before and add to it the number in the next column, if we just copy that formula down, we'll get the right answers. So a cumulative distribution, let me center these, is always going to start with the first number in the list. And the last number in a cumulative frequency distribution will always be the total number of observations. Because all 300 restaurant meal prices must be in this category, or less. So $49 or less. Now we can also do the same thing with the percent. So we could make a cumulative percent frequency 
really no different except now we're doing percents and we're asking what percentage of the restaurants were in that category or less. So we're going to start with the first number 12.67 percent and then we're going to add equals take the number before it add to it the percent that was in the next category okay so equals that plus the 13.33 in G13 in my so then we can drag that down and it will add them up as we go in a similar way the first number is the percent in the first category and the last number must be 100 percent 100 percent of the restaurants must be forty nine dollars or less because that's that's the highest value the highest category that we have now let me just center this now off also you might want to make a visual representation of a cumulative distribution a graph in other words and when you make a graph of these in order to make this a little bit easier let me let me show you an easy way you can do this now I know there are in, in Excel there are always 10 ways you can do things I'm focusing on beginners to make sure that uh, we don't have any missteps here I'm just going to copy these results down here so I highlight you can hit right click copy or you can use control C when we paste these though I want to right click and paste the values so right click paste options values we don't want to paste these formulas otherwise they're going to be looking for values to add up over here that that are not actually there um, I want these price bins here so an easy way to graph these and we're going to use a line graph instead of a bar graph or a pie chart or anything like that is to just highlight these numbers go to insert and click a line chart and let's just see what that looks like cumulative frequency so we would call this kind of graph an O guide now there are one or two differences that if you were going to make a proper perfect ogive that you would want to add what an ogive does is visually display for us how quickly does this data go from zero frequency up to 300 frequency you can make the same kind of graph with percents and it would tell you how quickly this data at what rate this data goes from zero percent up to a hundred percent in that case okay so again we, we're going to want to label this axis here and tell people that this is frequency not percent if people see 300 percent they'll think that we've done something crazy here we want a better title here cumulative frequency isn't bad but we probably want to label it as an ogive so let's click in here get rid of that so we can say this is an ogive of meal prices and we know that's a graph of a cumulative distribution when we see that word ogive but again one one big difference uh, that we want is normally we want this line to start at zero and end at the total number of observations or start at zero and end at hundred percent if we were doing percents so one change we might want to make if we were making a professional looking ogive is to add a category here that starts at zero okay or sorry add, add say a previous category that we might say well the the a price where there aren't any any restaurants at all would be the previous category which might be the category six to ten let's just see what that looks like real quickly if we did that so let's add in another category so this is just a picky thing six to ten there are none there whoops and it created a date out of it so we want to if, if Excel automatically converts something to a date that's not really a date use a single quote and then type 6-10 and it's not going to mess it up 
let's center it so that it looks good and the cumulative frequency there is zero none of the meals are in that category or less and we, when we make the ogive insert click a line graph and let's just hit OK this starts at zero and ends at the total number of observations and this is really what we're looking for when we make a graph of a cumulative distribution an ogive so that's all I'm going to do in this video this is Berkey Academy if you have any questions please leave me a comment or question in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try to get to you good luck with your studies